here it's me again back on the floor so now we're going to be doing a soft rolling routine for your shoulder blades which will help the shoulder blade area obviously but also help your neck and your back so for the equipment again you could use a franklin peanut roll if you have one of those you could use yoga tuna balls in a tote bag you could use tennis balls in a sock or if that's too hard you could use two sizzle balls which are nice and soft and put them in a soft uh, in a bag instead um, if you don't have the soft option you could use the tennis balls and put a towel on top of it because I don't want you to feel pain in this it might be uncomfortable but only slightly so if you need a bit of cushioning do put a towel on top of whatever prop you're using I'm going to use the Franklin peanut roll now before we get started we're going to just lie on your back and knees bent and see what that feels like for your neck and your back today if your chin is pointing up at the ceiling, you need a pillow or a towel behind your head to bring your chin back to parallel to the floor. I don't want you to force it down. So use whatever prop you need behind your head to get comfortable. And then let your head move from side to side and notice what that range feels like today. We're not forcing anything. Just see what it feels like. You can close your eyes if it helps. And you can notice what your shoulder blades feel like as well. Do they feel like they're the same weight? the same height, any dissymmetry between them. Okay. Now, the best way to do this is to go onto your elbows first on the ground and then place your prop behind you around the bra strap level. Now here, you're gonna need something behind your head and you might need two pillows. If I have one pillow behind my head, this feels okay for me, but I'm used to this movement. If you're not used to this, this might feel very tense and you might feel your rib cage poking up to the ceiling you do not want that so you might need to make your pillow higher like I've just done with the block that takes the pressure off but it's a hard surface so get two soft pillows instead if that's more comfortable but I want you to be comfortable the pressure you're feeling is just on the brass strap line and on either side of the spine you're just going to take a breath here and get used to it if it's still really uncomfortable you need a higher pillow or you need to move the position of your prop. Just being in this position and breathing will help take a lot of tension in your neck and your back. So after a while, you might be able to go to a lower setting. I'm not forcing you to go there, but I'm just giving it to you as an option. And then once you're in that, whatever position you're in, you can start tucking and tilting your pelvis. So it's tucking under this way, and then it's tilting. So tucking under means the lower back is closer to the floor. Tilting means the lower back gets further away from the floor. And you're just moving in the range that's comfortable for you. You're not forcing anything. You're not trying to cause pain. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not painful. And you'll feel your prop moving up and down your spine. Not the spine, either side of the spine if you do this. And then take a breath. And exhale, release. Now we'll move a little bit further up. So move your body down to the mat a little bit. And you'll feel the prop go a little bit higher up your spine and it's on either side of the spine and it's now higher than your bra strap and you can breathe here for a few minutes see what that feels like see if you can relax into this feeling a little bit and then you can add in your tuck and tilt now i'm going pretty fast through this just to get it done in about five minutes but you could spend longer in each position is there a difference here? Does it feel the same as the last position? And then take a breath. And exhale. We'll move a little bit further down the mat again. I'm kind of going off screen, but you know where I am. Now it's high, it's at the top of my shoulder blades, not on my neck though. And I'm just seeing what that feels like. You can hang out here and breathe for a little bit longer or you can do your tuck and tilt. And then what well, that feels like. You could do a little, a little lean left to right, see what that feels like. You could lift your arms up, bring the shoulder blades back a few times, see what that feels like. Okay, you can stay in this position, or if it feels okay, you could get rid of your pillow completely, lift your hips up, and roll the prop that you have 
up and down your shoulder blades. I'm lifting my hair and I'm holding my head with my hand just so you can see hopefully what's going on. You can see the prop there. I'm, I'm just rolling around in between my shoulder blades. So from the bra strap area to the top of the shoulder blades, I'm not going on my neck. This is just an option. You may or may, may not want to do this. Okay, and then bring your hips down, roll off to the side to get rid of that prop, and then head back down to the floor with whatever pillow you had at the start of the class. Whew. And hopefully you feel amazing here. Your shoulder blades are really heavy, sinking into the floor. It feels like your whole top half of your body is kind of sinking into the floor. You may not even need a pillow anymore behind your head. And then reassess by letting your head move from side to side. And notice the greater range of movement you have, or maybe the less pain or less crunchy noises. You're not forcing anything. You've just hydrated that area. And because that area is hydrated, you can now move a little bit better.